Greetings all. I am Anime Otaku Drew. And we're here tonight to talk about Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack. Now, I can't speak for any of you, but I, for one, think that Nintendo has a lot to answer for here. You see, for all this time, the Nintendo Switch Online service has been one thing. And that one thing has given us several other things underneath the umbrella. We've got, of course, the ability to play all of our Nintendo Switch games online with other players. Whether that's sharing your levels in Super Mario Maker or playing other people's levels or multiplayer on Mario Maker, Mario Kart, Smash. So just the basic online service for NSO has provided us quite a bit already. But it's just a small piece. And in and of itself, it's not worth that much. But then, they add NES games. Just a few. Drop in a few more here and there. And that was really cool. I grew up well, actually, I grew up with an Atari 2600 and later a 7800. I was in junior high school when the NES finally came along. So I technically was still growing up. But that added a lot more value. And that made it worth the annual price then, they give us Super NES, adding even more value, and still dropping titles on that for every once in a while. It's like, okay, cool. But then, the titles they do drop grow fewer and further between, and when we do get more titles, they're titles that nobody really cares about. But then, then the rumors start, the leaks and rumors. Nintendo Switch Online to add Nintendo 64 at a new tier of service. Now, myself and most other people were thinking this would entail, this new tier of service would entail eh, extra 10 to 15 at the most over the year. But the thing is, now we get it. And yes, in addition to the Nintendo 64, we're also getting Sega Genesis. And for those who are interested in Animal Crossing get the $25 Animal Crossing DLC included. But the thing is, this is more than doubling the price. Now, I've seen plenty of other YouTube channels talk about this, but they're all addressing the single user price, which it's $20 for the base NSO service, and it's going up to $50 with the expansion pack. But I'm sure that a lot of y'all out there are like me, where there's more than one person in your household that's going to be using this me, 
any of y'all that have watched my stream over on Twitch know that I have a brother who goes by Frosty Box and a sister who goes by Crystal Memoria who also game on the Switch and use the NSO service. So the single user price is not an option for us. So we pay for the family membership, which the base family membership is $35. Now, to take that up and add the expansion pack, we're going up to a full $80 a month. The thing is, that is a lot of money. And what Nintendo has to answer for is the fact that we're not getting an equal value to that. As I said, this is more than doubling the price for Nintendo Switch Online to get the whole service. And what are we getting for that? We are getting... maybe 16 Nintendo 64 games from what it's showing on the trailer here. I'm getting the Animal Crossing DLC, which is worth $25, but that $25 is a one-time payment. This price for Nintendo Switch Online with the expansion pack is going to have to be paid every year. And then we're getting Sega Genesis, which looks like 14 games. Now it seems to me, if they want to more than double the price, then they need to more than double what we're getting from it. So currently, they are not doing that. We are getting two more systems with maybe 30 games between them and we're getting a DLC I cannot justify paying this price I don't have the money to pay this price and with the small value that they are assigning and giving along with it I can't justify trying to come up with the money to pay that. I don't know about all of you guys. I don't know about Crystal Memoria or Frosty Box. They may or may not have or be willing to pay that. I haven't had a chance to talk to them since Nintendo dropped the price tag earlier today. But this is not okay at all. So, if they want to if they want people to willingly pay this or even eagerly pay this, they need a lot more. Throw in the Game Boy family of systems that have been rumored just as long if not longer than the Nintendo 64 throw in Game Boy and Game Boy Color at least, if not advance, need to at least double the titles that they're including on 64 and or Genesis. If they want people to pay this, then they need to make it worth our while. I can't speak for any of you guys, but I am outraged by this. This is ridiculous. You don't charge more than twice the price to get less than twice the value. That is not good business. If you guys agree with me, spread the word. Share this video. Let's get this out there for more people to see. And join me in demanding that Nintendo 
either lower the price of this expansion pack or add enough stuff to make it worth the price they're insisting on because they have not done that now if they want to throw in a free Nintendo 64 switch controller with it okay all right fine for everyone who subscribes to the expansion pack they will send a Nintendo 64 switch controller all right that that'll that'd be a good incentive that that could do it or choose between a 64 and a Genesis controller and then of course you could order more of either or both as you choose that but throw one in for every subscriber that upgrades to the expansion pack that could make it worth it <clears throat> there there are many things they could do to make it worth a while throw in DLC for other popular games throw in come up with a new paid DLC for Mario Maker 2 and that could be included with this a DLC for Metroid Dread that is a hot seller right now and a damn good game I have to point out give us a paid DLC for Dread and let that be included with the expansion pack just like they're doing with Animal Crossing add DLC for all of big titles maybe throw in DLC that already exists that some people may not have like the the full DLC pack for Breath of the Wild stuff like that incentivize it make people think oh wow I get all this from it for that $80 a year okay that's worth it let me sign up but they sure the hell don't have that right now so y'all need to join me at least if you agree you need to join me in telling Nintendo this does not work we will not let you get away with this make it worth the price all right I've spoke my piece let me know down in the comments if you guys agree do you think it's worth eighty dollars do you have more than one user in your household do you need to pay the family price or can you are you in a situation that all you need is the single user price and whichever one you would need to pay do you think it's worth that price for the expansion pack I'm, I'm genuinely curious what you guys think so let me know down in the comments if you agree with me if you think I might be on to something here if you want to support me support the channel because this is my life I don't have any other job I'm I'm disabled so I get by on what I can get from this from my stream from donations from my patreon I will link all of my other channels and my stream and my patreon in the description so if you want to help out then please go ahead and follow all my channels follow my stream on twitch and if you really want to help out hit the like button because that'll help and hit up my patreon that said I just want to thank you guys for spending the time watching and I hope that you'll be back for the next video y'all take care